Hello guys, how are you doing? He is Wagner and be welcome to my new video on my channel. In this video, I will do a crochet adding so you will be able to do in your towel. It is a very simple adding and very easy. I'll put in this corner, doing a little hole. I take my floss and do my border. Take the floss. Pull it and make a knot. One, two, three. Done. You can cut off this rest. And now I'm going to do a single crochet to fill until here. Put your needle here, I'll do four chains, pull, and do the first chain, one, two, three, four, done. The chain will get onto the corner, after that I'll do one more hole, this one 1.75 millimeters needle, you may face difficulties to make the hole. If you wish, you can also use a scissor to make it. It turn very easy work. Done. After that, I will do the border, the basic one. Put the needle into the hole, pull your floss, and now do a slip stitch. Now I will do the border until the end of the dishcloth. And to do so, it's very simple. See, I do one, two, and three chains. And now using the needle, I choose the distance. It's about one centimeter and put it here. Take the floss and pull the floss, pulling it to the right side. Take the floss pass into the two chains. See, looks like a square here. And now repeat this process until the end. Do three chains, one, two, and three. Choose the distance to remain the same size of one centimeter. Make a hole again, taking the floss, pull it, there are two chains on the needle, and now pass into them two chains. Done, see, it'll be this way. You will do the process until finish the complete dishcloth border. Let's do that. So guys, I've made all the process doing my borders and now I will do my last chain. So make a hole in the fabric like that, pull the floss and make a slip stitch. See, you can see all the borders Guys, this part must be multiples of four, so you have two groups of four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. The last group must be multiple of four. One, two, three, and four. If not, won't work. So to do this, multiples of four to eat it right. At the end, I will do five chains. One, two, three, four, and five. You can turn your dishcloth to the other side. After doing the three chains, now I come to this stitch here above the border. I will do a single crochet on it. Put into the chain, pull the floss, and done, I've made the single crochet. 
it looks like a circle here, see? And now you have to repeat doing five chains. One, two, three, four, and five. Come to the next stitch and do a single crochet. Right in the middle. See? It is the second circle. I'm gonna have to do these circles until the end of the dishcloth. Let's go there. Done, guys. I've made my last circle. And I finished it with a single crochet right in this corner. So now, turn the other side. I'm going to do the third row. Start with five chains. One, two, three, four, five. And now I come to the middle of the first circle right here and make a single crochet. Put the needle, pull, and you have a single crochet. Look like a circle on the previous circle. Here I do four double crochet right here between the two circles right in the middle put the flaws in the chain remind it that is a double crochet right take it and finalize the first double crochet done Take the floss and put into the same stitch and make the second double crochet. Take the floss, put into the chain, doing the third double crochet. And now the last one. Take the floss, put it to the chain and do the double crochet. It will be this way, see? So here, I come to the next circle, right here, and do a single crochet on it. So here, I did the single crochet this way. Now I will do the five chains again. One, two, three, four, and five. Come to the next circle in the middle this one here and do a single crochet on it. See? This way. And now you repeat it. I've done four single crochet in the middle. Repeat then here, right here. Okay. After that, do the single crochet to stay the same as we did before. After that, do the five chains skip from one circle to another and continue until the end of the dish cloth done guys i've made it then with four double crochet and finished then with a, a single crochet here i can finish my process it was finished in the right side of the fabric if you'd like to do this if you'd like to do this adding Larger than this, you can start from this stitch here. You do the chains here. One, two, three, four. Doing from one side to another. Then you come back doing the, this last row here. One circle full and other empty. But first, do the empty circles below. So you choose the size as you wish. For me, this size is okay. More delicate, simple. But do as you are desired. As this size is enough for me, I'll cut off here. And here I will start to finish in this crochet adding. Put the needle in here. Pull the floss. Pass in front inside. Finalize with a slip stitch to not untie. Once more. And to hide the fuzz, 
I like to do this way, putting the needle here, making a little hole in the corner, passing the needle from the inside until the end in the other side. Can you see? Roll your floss on the needle and pull it. Until here. Done. Now you hide the floss. Don't forget to cut off the floss like this. And it's done. The crochet adding is ready. See how beautiful. So this is simple adding are great to do in this cloth or towels. They give a special charm to your work. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Watch the other videos on my channel about the crochet adding. If you have any questions, leave me a comment that I will help you. Share this video on your blog, Facebook, or WhatsApp group. So many people will learn how to make it. Crush adding, amigurumi, cross stitch on my channel. I thank you for watching me. See you next video. Bye.